another edition of At Home Senior Fitness. Today we'll be doing weighted stand-up exercises. There's no need to go out and buy extra weights at the store. Furthermore, we're not allowed really to go to the store for things like this. So what I, I went to the kitchen and I found a couple of cans of uh, diced and chopped tomatoes. Now I'll be using these for weights today. And remember, Always consult with a doctor if you're feeling type of pain throughout any of this, or if you have any pains uh, prior to doing these exercises. Um, if you have a heart trouble, make, sh make sure that you always consult with a doctor, and always ensure that a, a doctor allows you to do this kind of work. We're not too strenuous today, so hopefully you'll be okay. So I like to do my, my weighted workout standing. That way I'm engaging all my core area as I'm, as I'm standing, and using weights uh, and then you're, you're using different styles of, of weighted uh, exercises on those muscles okay so let's get started first we're going to do a little quick warm-up put your weights down start with a little march we want to get that blood flowing here we don't want to stretch a cold muscle we don't want to work out a cold muscle or cold joints okay just shake it out nice and easy good and we're marching Let's march it out wide. Here we go. Good. Let's punch it out. Good. Punch it in. And bring it in and march. Good. Good. Relax. Good. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to work those quads here. We're going to warm up the quads and the hips here. But first, I'm going to move my weights out of the way, off the chair, because we're going to be using the chair as well. The chair is there for safety. If you feel like you can do a squat without using the chair, go ahead. Watch out for those knees. Again, I have bad knees, so I know what it's like to, to not have confidence in my knees. Okay, so we're back to the chair. Always make, make sure that chair is behind you. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go from a, a standing to a seated back and forth. Supporting up those legs here. Make sure that chair is behind you. If you want to, you can put those hands down to the side and ease yourself down. Or if you, you want to challenge yourself, bring those hands up front. Here we are. Pushing them up back. Coming down nice and slow, nice and easy. Good. Again, go from the seated to a standing. If you want to make it easier on yourself, hands here or hands here help push yourself up. A little bit more challenging, we're going crisscross. I'll do crisscross today for you. Remember, feet are shoulder width apart. Weight in the heels as we come up. Here we go. There's one. And then down the same thing. Good, nice and easy. There's two. Good, go at your own pace. If you feel like you can do this a little bit quicker or you like to do a little bit slower, that's totally up to you, okay? You know your body, than, body than, better than anyone. Good, up and down, up and down. You notice I'm not plopping myself down. It's a nice, easy motion. We're gonna do two more like this. Here's one. Here's two, good. Now this time, I kind of gave it away a bit. But our feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna come down, we're gonna hold ourselves above the chair. Again, hand chairs are make it a little bit easier for yourself. Crisscross a little bit tougher. And you can even bring your hands down to the chair if you want. Okay, nice and easy, I'm going crisscross. Remember to push that bum back. You don't want to, you want to be leaning forward into those knees. You're going to wreck your knees. So it's like an easy sit down motion. And we're here, we're holding it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back down again. Weights are heels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it up. Let's do one more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and up. A couple breaths here. Then we'll pick our weights up. And through the nose, up through the mouth. Good. Shake it up. Let's pick up the weights. My crushed tomatoes and my diced tomatoes. Just use what you have at home here. We're gonna bring those weights down here by the side. 
But it's so good. Simple bicep curls. Good. I like doing it standing up, like I said. Engaging all that core area. Keeping that stability. Plus, you get a little bit more range of motion. Good. You got it. Squeeze. One more each side. Good. And push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it down. Now, from here, we're just going to shrug. We're going to work on those shoulders. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. A little bit wider now. If you want a nice solid base, this is great for balance. If you're nice and wide, challenging with coming nice and close. But I don't really advise that. I like going both shoulder widths. There's a little bit more on this one. We're here. Let's keep that chair behind us just in case we lose our balance or if our, our knees or legs do give out. Here we go. And up. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now we're going to add to that. Coming down as you come up. Wait. Here we are. Way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. To the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Leave it out. Straight up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it. Let's go one at a time. Push it up, push it up. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Bring it down. Let's walk behind the chair. Here we go. Still holding on to all the weights. Now the chair is there. If you feel unsteady with this one, we're going to put a little weights down. Okay. And the chair is always there if you need it. Just going up on our toes. I'll show you first without the weights. Up, down, working those calf muscles. Okay. One more here. Now if you want to, feel free. Do one, two, or no weights. I'm gonna pick up two today. We're here, we're here. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Excellent. Now, from here, we're going to step over to that right side. Drop that inside weight. So now we have, we just have the one weight in our hand. I like to just keep one. So now you have one hand just to grab that chair, just in case. Okay. So. You can grab it here or down below as we do the single leg squat. It's just for safety. Here we go. Bring it down. Chair is there. And up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. Bring it up to the other side. Switching hands. Again, taking the outside leg, single leg lunge. Hands always on the chair if you need it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more, eight, and up. Back behind the chair, the chair now. Now again, you can use 
one, two, or no weights, it's up to you. Give yourself a little bit of space from that chair. I'm gonna use one weight today. Just so I have one hand for each dollars, grab onto that chair. Here's the exercise. It's a side lunge. Be careful with that knee. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Legs. We don't want to seize them up or get them. We don't want them to cramp on you. So we're going to go with a little march. Good, nice and easy. Nothing too too difficult today. Good. Just move those legs. Keep that blood flowing. We're slowing it down. Now, let's take that right foot out. I'm just going to tap the toe. Looks like this. Tap, tap. As we're tapping, we're pulling a rope. Pulling the rope. Good. And one more. Other side, bring up that left foot, a little tap to that toe. Pulling the rope. <clears throat> Good. Just like that. Big rope. One more. Here it is. Good. We're up. Shake up those legs, shake up those arms. Couple big breaths here to finish off. Thanks everybody. That's our that's our session for today. Tune in again to the next video where we have something fun for you to do and keep you active. Thank you.